As of this afternoon, Cincinnati City Council member Yvette Simpson is a candidate for mayor. Not on your side, anchor Craig McKee joining us now with a look at her announcement and what does current mayor John Cranley have to say about this? He does have something to say mm. about it. Of course, we brought you this first last night on 9 on your side at 11, but uh, Yvette wasted little time, in fact, making it official at a news conference that we were at this morning that, in fact, she will run for mayor in 2017. Listen. My name is Yvette Simpson, and I am proud to announce today that I am running for mayor of the great city of San Francisco. Right now, Simpson is serving her second term on city council. Speculation about a run for mayor has swirled since 2013 after one of Simpson's political mentors lost to John Cranley. Simpson said today that the city is ready for a mayor who will problem solve. The city deserves a visionary leader who will serve our city and its citizens with an open door, an open heart, and an open ear. One who will work collaboratively with council, our administration, employees and our stakeholders. A strong advocate and tireless ambassador for our city currently serve as the president pro team. All right, so if you're keeping score here, watching the video, council member Chris Seelbach and Wendell Young joined Simpson today. So you might be asking, as Tanya mentioned, what does current mayor John Cranley say about Simpson joining this race? Well, we spoke with him today as well. He says the reasons that he ran for mayor in the first place still haven't changed. I'm in public service because my family and faith have taught me to whom much is given, much is expected. And my deepest values are that service to others is the, is the essence of a meaningful life. I ran for mayor to change uh, a culture at City Hall that was focused on itself and pet projects, uh, to focus it on the needs of everyday Cincinnatians who I felt were being. Well, Cranley told us that he also welcomes Simpson to the race, that he admires her life story as well. He thinks the decision for voters will really come down to which person they think will do more for the city moving forward. Of course, we'll follow both sides of the race. Tanya? Indeed.